Good morning, good morning everybody. How are you? Today I'm cooking some mutton snapper head curry. Uh, we just actually made a video that we cook, we fry the fish first. So this is a flash fried snapper head. Just came out from the oil. It's draining here. And so I have a little bit of oil here in my pan. And these are the things that I'm using. Um, my kind of curry masala, everything kind of mixed in here. We have some masala, curry powder, some turmeric, salt, and some jeera. And over here, I have some nice hot pepper to go in. I also will be putting in some eggs in this curry. And these are some fresh tomatoes from the garden. Fresh tomatoes from the garden. And garlic, onions, shallots, and seasoning. And also what I'm putting in this fish. Let me go out here with it. I'm putting in some karaili or karaila. I love this in fish curry. If you haven't yet, you need to. But not you're not you're not going to put too much of it because you're gonna make it all bitter, okay? And also we have some fresh side jam or moringa sticks. These are some fresh side jam or moringa sticks, and that's what we'll be also putting in here. And I also I already start to clean it and this is what it looks like when you string them out and this is how you do it It's like very simple for my international friends It's just like you cut it and look look how fat this side Jen is right Listen guys, it's been raining for two days and I'm so happy for the rain Today is the first day that we're actually having a little sunshine in the last you know two days on and off rain but not pouring rain just easy going rain so all the garden is so happy everything finally gets some rain and we had a wind so with the wind all the leaves from all the giant trees are on the ground so we're waiting it for it to dry up a little bit and we'll sweep you know So very simple I like to do this moringa sticks and you know the benefits of the moringa tree the saijan the drumsticks is so beneficial for you uh, there's some videos that I went in more detail that explains the benefits of the moringa or the saijan sticks so, and over here I also have some nice green mangoes to put in this fish curry nice green mango and and our marine i mean karaila so let's start the process of this cooking we'll put some this is some uh carpoli or the curry leaf fry up in that first put some onion Put some garlic in there. And let's put some of this pepper to fry up. I like to put my the pepper early in the oil to fry up because in this way the flavor of this pepper will go throughout the meal. And I do not use the seed because I, I, I cannot do the pepper like I used to. <laughs> Let's put this in here. I'll show it here. Look at that guy. Throwing some tomatoes from the garden. I'm just squeezing the seeds back into the ground so we can get more tomatoes. And these are all tomatoes right here from the garden, guys. Right here from the garden. So what are you doing again? I'm just squeezing out the seeds of the tomato and put it in the in the garden and just using this the meat of the tomato. And 
let's put all our masala, jeera, turmeric, all our curry magic in here. Curry masala. Turn this up. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing and being part of our YouTube family and our Facebook. And also check us out on our Instagram and, uh, and um, TikTok. I'm learning Instagram and TikTok, guys. So I'm going to put some of water here to cook up this curry. Push up this fire. I'll let the masala cook up a little bit. Then I'll put in the mango and the... Remember the fish is already cooked. Remember the fish is already cooked. So you don't have to, um, you don't have to, uh, you only have to cook your sauces and your seasonings. And uh, when it start to, when I put the water and it start to come to a boil, that's when I'll be putting the fish. So this is the Karaili or Karaila. These are the seeds, you take these guys out. I always throw these things in my garden. That's where your pumpkin plants came from. Yeah. And I'll just cut them in nice little slits like this. I'm just putting four pieces. Because we have all these guys in here to put. You know, we have some green mango. Check out this green mango from Florida Keys. This is from Key West. Johnny actually um, found this green mango. So it's a little bit greener than green, but it's not that sour, okay? It's not that sour. I'll still put that in there. And I got my uh, a nice Karaila, Karaili here. This is a fun. This is the best part of the curry. Saijan man, that's my energy right there. So these are the, some of the Saijan. We actually just went to the to the tree and picked these. I picked some dry ones because I um, eat these, these seeds for energy. I actually just took one seed. Look. <laughs> I actually just took one, hence all the energy I have. <laughs> and uh, and then I have some nice saijan here. It's coming to the end of the season, so I'll be um, stripping these, cut them up and steam it and then freeze them. When I need when I need them, I'll have them. I'm also putting, this is some eggs that I'll be putting in the curry as well for Tommy and, and um, Joshua. I'm cooking this curry, fish head, not for, for me and my sister. Um, she'll be leaving to go back to Guyana very shortly, so I'll be missing her. I'm so happy she had the opportunity to come, and uh, can't wait for her to come visit more. And let this cook down, and then I'll put in my nice veggies. But oh, guys, look how nice this fish is looking. And this is the head of the mutton snapper. And this is just a half of the head. When my mom and I was here, we ate the other half of that same head. And guys, these are locally caught by the fishermen right across the street from where we live. Right across the street is a, a fishery. And, and um, the local fishermen, John will go get chum from them. So he'll go get heads. Think, because when you take out people to fish, then just fillet the fish and then throw away the heads and everything. So sometimes when John wants to um, go fishing, you'll make chum. And um, these guys, you will go there and get, and get fish heads. I don't know if Tommy showed you these celeries, but look at these celeries with a little rain. Everything is looking so much greener. And uh, look at these tomatoes. This is the last of these tomatoes. And I have some amazing fresh tomatoes coming up, bearing for the first time in the other part of the yard. Uh, also, over here, this is my West Indian cherries or the Barbados cherries. Um, start to give some blooms there, my friend.
It's such a beautiful day today here in Key Largo, nice and sunshine. I love cooking on the fireside. I love cooking on this fireside tula. All right, that's cooking up there. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, check this out. I'll put in the mango, the saijan, and also Sukaria Riley. So now I'll put some celery and uh, Guyanese seasoning, the celery marman pork, also known as the basil here, and some thyme. Water, you add your enough water now because by the time the the, the moringa, the, the mango, and the coralli is finished cooking. It's the time to put in the fish and the curry will be finished. It, but when the fish goes in there, it only will take like three minutes and it's finished. So the key is to cook everything else that you're putting in your curry. Like uh, these vegetables and the mango. So this just gotta come to a boil. And until these moringa ste steaks are soft, um, we'll put our fish in. Let's close so it comes to a boil. Okay guys, so I just took off this the um, lid. It's time to put in the fish. And Tommy went upstairs and I started to boil. So this is our fried fish. Let me show you guys, let me show you. Our fried fish that I'll be putting in the curry stew, or the curry now. This guy is in there. And this is the head. Everything is coming to a nice boil. Needs about five more minutes now to cook. Okay, I need your help, Tommy. <laughs> Here, it's, it's videoing, so it's just done. Okay, so I'm putting in my fried fish now. And this is the fried fish head. Check this out, I got a nice little fritter. It must be the fish skin. I cooked this well done. Mmm, nice and crunchy. Nice, nice. So nice. Oh, I love my trula, I love my trula. Let me know how many have a fireside or a trula. The mango, the saijan. Oh, I'll move this to the top. Mango. Mm. 
everything is coming to a nice boil looking good guys and let me know in the comments how many like fish head curry guys fish head curry i know i know it's an acquired taste but i grew up eating the fish head curries and this is our local cut here Size that are not overcooked. Hey Joshua, what's up there, bud? I'm putting some eggs in the curry for you. Come check it out. Look at all the eggs here. Look, look. You don't fry them? No, no, just like this whole. And also, we'll put some boiled eggs in there. I actually normally will fry it first and then put it in. Maybe I will still do that. I have my oil that I that I cook my stuff with. I will fry it when this is finished and then I'll put it in. I like when you flash fry it first. It tastes better. It absorbs the sauce of the curry, the curry sauce better. Mm -hmm. Are you the supervisor? Let's let's try. Let's try this. If we need more salt. Mmm, so yummy. No more salt. Perfect, perfect. We already had some um, jasmine rice to eat with this. Ooh, nice and spicy. Look, I use nice and spicy peppers, guys, to cook with it. My sister loves spicy, and since this curry will be just us, I'm not making it spicy. I'm making it a little spicy. Let me take away some of this fire. About maybe three more minutes and this curry is finished. Guys, for finishing touches, I like to put a little fresh thyme on top of my Guyanese style curry. So let's go get some fresh thyme. And also some scallions. celery and I'll get a piece of fresh celery as well so it's so nice these guys are doing and, uh, I still have this one in the pot I'm waiting until we get you know several several days of rain before I put it in the ground I'll just get one stem and I, again, let me show you one more thing about this. This is the Moringa tree or the Moringa um, pad or the Saijan drumstick or the Miracle tree. Let me know what you call it in your country. Um, but look, I planned this from a stem. I was telling my friends, I went live on Facebook. I was telling me, see how fat that stem is? I planned that stem. And uh, now look, less than six months, it's giving flowers. So I'm so excited to show you when it's time to give the, the Saijan. So excited. Nice. This is for lunch, guys. Lunch. Check this side, Jan, a little bit more. wait to dig in I can't wait to dig in with this and eat and I, I will be eating old-fashioned way the way I grew up with my fingers okay so what I'm gonna do my curry is pretty much finished I'm gonna move it on the other side 
let it steam let that side down so keep steaming in there and I'm, I'm gonna use my leftover oil that I fry my fish with and I'm gonna fry the egg I'll fry up the egg okay guys so oh, I'm leaving one without frying because I'm not sure if Joshua like it this way I'm not sure if you do your eggs this way, but when I make my egg curries or my ero with egg curries or saijan and egg curries, I always fry the egg like this. I boil it, peel it, and then I put it in the oil and, and fry it up like this. See how it's like burning up there? It makes it, it makes it feel like you're eating more like meat. You give it a nice little crunch, a little stiffness of the egg white. <laughs> That's how nice those are. So guys, all the eggs are finished. Now I'm gonna switch, stick down the pan. I'll switch back my curry over here. Look at that guys, look at that. Come back to a boil. And now I'm gonna do, show this here. Drain the egg. Let's put them in here. Show the pan. This is our finishing touches. And man, you want to put a sauce into that egg now. Look at a nice sauce. Now for my finishing touches. Fresh tomato. Oops. From the garden. Look. That there and check this out the time I wash I'll put that time in here and also some fresh celery and scallions wow look at that curry guys and this is finished So thank you guys, thank you so much for being part of us. This is our mutton snapper curry head. It's the snapper head that we are, cur we are currying with some green mangoes, some curry, some green mangoes, some curry, some garden fresh tomatoes, uh, some delicious seasoning, peppers, just everything from the garden. And also some saijan guys, some saijan some moringa or saijan that we also just picked so these are all in a delicious curry we have rice seed with it you can eat it with some paratha roti and um, it will be so delicious sad roti is delicious with it too or any roti okay any roti so thank you all thank you all for being part of us again and uh, leave a comment let me know your comments about this and let me know um, how much you like your fish head curry, okay? Let me know how you cook your fish head curries. Have an amazing day. Stay amazing, everyone. And uh, we'll actually plate it and show you a little bit of that. Love you. I put the mangoes on this side.
check check out my sister's plate the side jam the egg look at a mango carayla and she's getting some hot pepper right now And she also has some bird peppers. Nice, nice. 